Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial. So I'll be showing you how to convert your 2D logo into a 3D logo using an AI and it's totally free and um, very easy to do. So um, without any further ado, let's jump right in. So um, you head on to our browser, then I'm um, currently I'm using the Google Chrome, can use any browser of your choice. So um, you head on to the search bar, then type on styler.ai.com. So I'll be dropping a link in the description below for you to check it out. So you click on enter so um you have to make sure you have an account with them to be able to have this interface so it doesn't take more than two minutes to set up your account so once you've done that you click on um, new project all right so um you give the project a name all right so um once you've done that you select the aspect ratio so we'll be going with one by one all right so once you're done you click on apply so um, this is the interface we have here. So um, let me walk you through um, the interface of this um, the styler.ai. So um, these are called credits. So um, each feature here requires you to use a certain amount of credit. So um, our major focus here is the image to image feature here. So and if we use this, it requires us to use a certain amount of credit here. So um, each user is being credited up to 100 each new user rather has been given up to 100 um, credits so um, you have to use it um, very well so let's head on to this area where we have the image to image feature so you have this interface here then you click on click to drag or upload images here all right so you select the image of your choice from the computers from your computer's location then you click on open Alright, so um, you come to this area where you have no style, then you click on the forward arrow. Then you come to this area where you have 3D rendering. So there are other options there too as well to explore. Alright, so um, there's also what we call auto prompt. So um, this um, analyzes the image and um, gives you a description of what it's analyzed. So um, let's give it a try, auto prompt. Alright, so um, the image features a red YouTube logo with a white play button symbol at its center. So um, it gives a description of what um, the image that has been attached here. So um, the other options too here as well. So there's um, the remove object, there's a remove background. So if the image um, has a background, so you can use this option. But do have it in mind that the remove background feature here or any other feature or option here requires um, a certain amount of credit that will be spent on it so you use it wisely all right so um the other options here to adjust the settings as well so if you're okay with this you click on um stylerize so it's take a little while to give out its results so um these are the results that are that was gotten from the rendering so um, if you're not okay with this, then um, you can click on um, variations too as well, or you edit the prompt here. So let's give it a try. Let's use the let's use our own prompt. All right. So I'll also be dropping a link of the prompt that I used for this. So um, once you're done with that, you click on stylerize. So um, this is what we have at the end of the day. So it gives you four results. So you pick the one that um, suits your style here. All right, so um, we can go with this. So this actually is better. So and also the downside about this is that um, it comes um, with the watermark. So you have to pay or upgrade your plan to be able to download out the watermark. So, um, but you can also download this out that it comes with the watermark. You can also remove the watermark too as well. If you please so you download and the quality is really really amazing so you click on the download button and you see check the file location and you see the downloaded version so guys um that is it on this video on how to convert a 2d logo into a 3d logo using an ai so it's very simple and um user friendly as well so guys um if you found this video we do all to hit on that subscribe button Turn on the post notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to like, share, and drop a comment. And let me know what you think about this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video tutorial.